Alright folks, I'm at Golden Gate Canyon State Park. Uh, just had the park ranger drive by, give me a moose warning, so we'll see. There's uh, those rocks up there. I don't know if you can see the uh, rock climbers up there. There's a bunch of people climbing those rocks. This is a snowshoe hair trail, I think. We're heading up on a little, um, little pond. It's called Dude's Fishing Hole. I was actually trying to hike to a, trying to get to a different chair, uh, trail in this park, but the road to it was closed. So found this area. This is a trail off of some campsites in this park. So this park's uh, somewhere between Golden and Boulder, Colorado, kind of like right up on the front range of mountains. Been here a couple times but no recordings so I don't know we'll see what we see in here. Pretty aspen grove you'll notice the uh, leaves still have not changed we're tail end of summer here. Is it mid-September? Across the little creek Yeah, so it's still hot. It was going to be 90 degrees in Denver today, so we're at 8,700 feet. So gain some elevation, cool down a little bit. I'd say it's 70 or so. Um, hopefully it doesn't get warmer than 75, but it's the morning, so it'll still be cool. We'll get a little hike in this morning. Nothing too crazy and maybe some coffee and Lunch in the woods. Hey Loki, come on buddy. What kind of berries do you think those are? I'm not sure. I do like to look for, look at the ground, especially when you come to like open sunny areas. Like this one up ahead. That's where you usually find the fruit. I've seen a lot of rose rose hips, um, which I know are edible. I'll show you one of those well, next time we pass one. Now those are those fruit. Those are fruits from a wild rose plants, and. They often even are around in the wintertime. So this is the rose hip. This is the edible part where the flower used to be at the end. Not too bad, a little bitter. We'll see if I die, then that's the wrong thing. Never eat any wild um, foods unless you're 100% sure what they are. It's probably common sense, but uh, I was 100% sure that was a rose hip or rose fruit or whatever it's called because it was on a spiky, you know, rose thorny stem. And it had that ovular shape. 
that reddish color that flared flower piece at the end so very clear what that one is we're going uphill Loki yeah we're going uphill that way so yeah quickly turned from the little bit of downhill to a lot of uphill but I think we can make a loop out of this back to the car nice walk in the woods hike in the woods don't know that we'll get any like spectacular views or, or anything like that but still nice all right we reached this little saddle on the trail so downhill that way downhill back that way where I came looks like there's a little uh, mini peak right over here between the peaks of the saddle so I think look you know we'll climb up try to find a place in these rocks to make a little lunch and coffee bit of a view from up here on this little mini peak see there's the saddle down there that way this is the other side of the saddle the other peak Some rocks over that way So, yeah, beautiful spot. Alright. Chicken gumbo is the meal for today. There's the coffee choice. that it's called verve and this is their decaf Vancouver chocolate nougat and cola flavors I did get a little whiff of chocolate when I first poured it it's not being so loud disturbing my lunch right buddy He's disturbing our lunch. All right. It's been the recommended 15 minutes at lower altitudes for this food. I'm going to see um, where it's at because I'm hungry. It's almost ready. Ooh, it's got a little kick. A little spice to it. So, those mountains in the distance, I'll show you the peak finder view. Um, you can see actually Mount Beardstadt, which is one of the 14,000 foot peaks, one that I've climbed, by the way. Um, Mount Spalding, Mount Epaulette, a few 13ers in that same kind of area. So that, that direction right there behind, behind you is uh, southwest towards um, I-70 and ski resorts out that way. The chicken gumbo from uh, Good To Go, They're based up there in Maine, another outdoor area. So there you go. You can see the chunks of okra and I guess that's chicken, but It's pretty well hydrated. Got a little bit of a kick to it. I don't know if it tastes like gumbo that I've ever had before. I'm not sure these Mainers know what gumbo tastes like. 
but it's still pretty good. We'll see if I change my rating. It's got a little kick, nice little spiciness to it, so I like that. I give it a three, just because I don't think it tastes like gumbo. Cayenne pepper, black pepper, oregano, thyme, ancho chili, paprika, smoked paprika, garlic powder. Those are the kind of the spices. What do you think? Is there anything missing? And then okra, chicken and rice. A lot of these are real ingredients too. Nothing, no chemical ingredient that I don't recognize. So that's pretty cool. I'll jump up to a four. Four out of five. Let's go with that. Let's go with a four. Recommend. Good to go's chicken gumbo. All right, finish that off. That was a delicious little snack. Four to five. I'm, I'm rating on the, um, you know, uh, it is food in a bag curve. So I'm going to give that gumbo four to five. The only points taken off are like it didn't. Felt like something was off from a gumbo. I don't know what it was. But it was still good and spicy, which I like. So I think I'm going to complete the loop on this, make the trail a little more interesting rather than backtracking. So let me pack my stuff together, finish this coffee, and I'll see you back on the trail. Finally, off of that kind of dry ridge to a little wetter part of the forest. Trees are much taller here. A little creek. It's nice and cool in here. It was kind of baking <laughs> in the uh, along the ridge there, where the sun's hitting you directly. But this is nice. Still on the snowshoe hair trail. Alright, quite a bit of up and down. Good exercise. I did the loop, looped back to the camping area where I'm parked. And I think my car is right down this trail somewhere. So, I'll see you back in the Jeep. Oh, back in the car with some AC. Hi, Loki. <laughs> so that was about three and a half miles, the Snowshoe Hair Trail in Golden Gate Stan Canyon State Park in near let's see kind of between golden boulder and netherland that kind of forms a triangle netherland in the mountains boulder north along the front range and golden <coughs> south along the front range and it's kind of this park is right in between very cool much more wildernessy than i was expecting on this kind of state park trail but very nice simple trail all right well, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one